I'm taking a multiple choice test that was developed at or before 2019, and I'm putting it into ChatGPT to see how it works. So here you can see, uh, as the test taker, I'm just going to copy and paste, and I've set ChatGPT up telling them I'm taking a test, I need help finding the correct answers. So what you'll see here is that it starts spitting out the answers for me as we go. Each of these questions is worth 0.4 points, so I believe there's 10 questions here. And um, I'm going to fast forward this because you get the general idea, but it is spitting out for us the exact answers. So I'm slowing down the quick animation here because uh, I want you to see something that happens. The uh, ChatGPT response actually kicks out a response that is different than the options. The language is just a little different. It's close, and if I kind of know what I'm talking about uh, as far as context, I am able to guess which is the right one. But I am trying to impersonate somebody who's just working to get this assessment done as fast as possible. But you can totally see I'm stuck here, um, and then I just take a guess at it, and I continue on on the pathway. That'll come back in just a little bit. So now you hit, see I'm coming back to that question six. I've got all my other answers, but I'm, I'm just bothered by the fact that it didn't give me the right answer. So I'm going to outsmart the assessment here, and I tell ChatGPT, please give me only the answer from the options that were provided. And so I'm just going to take another shot at it. I put the question back in that I copied and pasted. All right, and then it gives me what I'm looking for. Worlds on figures number nine and number three, but that still isn't exactly what I'm looking for. And so being a good AI user, ChatGPT user, I need you to do this one more time and only choose from them. So it very kindly apologizes and says, oh, the number you're looking for is the deltas on fingers number nine and number three. Okay, so I have what I need to go back and respond. I do ask, are you sure that's the correct response? And that's worlds on left index and right fingers. Okay, that looks like something I can do. And I use that option. So now I'm going to submit those results. And here you can see that I score a 1.2 out of 4 on my assessment, which to my surprise, I thought I had this figured out and that the AI would give me exactly the right answer and um, really only nailed three of them out of the group. So let's just talk through what happened in context here. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT because I'm now angry. Um, and I'll just use this. So on the question, question, and I typed this in, you said the correct answer was dermis, uh, or epidermis, but my teacher said it's dermal papillae. So um, can you please explain how you came up with a different answer? And so ChatGPT says this, and I think it's important to understand. It says, um, yeah, you're right. I got that wrong. Upon reevaluation, I can see that the correct answer is this. Now that I reread the question, here's what I understand, and that means my previous response of epidermis was incorrect, uh, and it actually goes through and explains that to you. So thanks for bringing that to, uh, to my attention, and I apologize for the confusion, is what the AI tells us. And now I'm really an angry uh, student, so I say, so I trusted you, and I got a bad grade. <laughs> Explain yourself. Um, we're really getting into a conversation here with the bot. And I love this one uh, where it says, uh, basically, I'm very sorry for the negative impact, but remember, I'm just AI. I'm not infallible, and I deeply regret any inconvenience. This is what happens uh, with generative AI. Um, now, remember, this is ChatGPT 3.5. 
so it's a little bit older, but it also is um, it is also getting increasingly better. There's no guarantee that on the next iteration, once I have access to that, it may not you know it may get these questions right.